Hey everyone, Ryan here with creatingawebsiteguide.com. Uh, at this point you should be set up with your bluehost.com uh, hosting package and you should recognize this as the dashboard uh, that we've started into uh, in previous videos. Uh, at this point we're just gonna we're gonna set up the email address for your business. So it's a really easy process to do. Uh, it makes you look a heck of a lot more professional if you're using your domain name as your ending. So something like john at yourdomain.com rather than john at yahoo.com or you know john at gmail.com so to do that we're simply going to scroll down here a little bit okay and look for the mail heading and the first option we're just going to do email accounts okay and on the first box to fill in here we can just choose whatever we want at uh, our domain name ending so I'm just going to do Ryan you can do all different types of things, uh, you can do like sales or you know like president or you know if you want to sound really really high up. Um, depending on the size of your business, you may need a whole a whole slew of different types of email addresses, and depending on how many employees you have. So, but for this business, it's just me and a lawnmower at this point. So you know I don't really need that. I'm just going to do Ryan at GreenBayLawnMowing.com. So I'm just going to insert my password here real quick. Try to make it as strong as possible. Okay. And the mailbox quota, 250 megabytes is quite a lot of space. Uh, that should be fine for now. You can change it in the future if you really uh, clog up your email email box. But if you have that much in there, I, I don't know, you probably need to delete a whole bunch of it anyways. So uh, we'll go with 250 megabytes. And uh, let's just create the account here. Okay. Created. It's going to show up here on the bottom, and we can make changes to it now. We can either change the password, change the quota, or if we don't want it anymore, we can delete it. So if somebody leaves your business and you don't want them to have an email address anymore with your company, you can simply delete it. It's really simple. Just go back in here, find the email address, and delete. So we can also create multiple ones at the same time. Uh, so just for an example, let's create another email address. Uh, let's do info at GreenBayLawnMowing.com. Type in our password here again real quick. Okay, and let's create this account as well. So this is just to show you that multiple email, email addresses will show up at the bottom here. Um, you can create just a ton of different email addresses if you need them. So at this point, now that you know how to create an email address, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, in the next upcoming couple videos, we'll show you how to um, Go ahead and hook that up to like a Gmail account um, so that you can use an email client that's a lot more powerful and it's a lot more it's a lot easier uh, to use an email client like Gmail or, or Outlook or something like that uh, just a, as a way to organize your email accounts coming in. So uh, we'll show you how to forward these email accounts to another one um, so you won't have to log into Bluehost every time that you want to check your email. So go ahead and do that. Um, and for more video tutorials, check out creating a website guide dot com